About nine solar power vehicles are crisscrossing South Africa in the ultimate test of technology as part of the Sassel Solar Challenge. The 5,000 kilometre race started in Pretoria and made an overnight halfway stop in Bloemfontein as uh, the contestants head towards Stellenbosch where their race will end on Sunday. Local and international teams from various schools and institutions of higher learning are relying solely on the sun. They look like something out of a science fiction movie. There's no pit stops to refuel since the cars are powered by the sun. The race is not about speed, but about how much distance each vehicle can cover. Breakdowns have resulted in some vehicles being towed along the route. Team members, engineering students and avid science learners doing repairs. You saw some teams struggling right from the start because they hadn't stored enough energy in their battery and then we got to Kronstadt, very exciting arrival and then a few minutes later a storm started, a huge huge storm started and um, teams had their tents being blown away and some of their solar cars got wet so a lot of maintenance had to be done. The participating teams are not deterred. I do the navigation, I check the uphills and the downhills and then every morning very early I check what the weather patterns are predicted to be, you know, just to you know, make sure that we're travelling not against the wind, against the wind, you know, we get a lot of drag that way. It's definitely a race for science boffins. It is quite a small car, it has only 2.6 uh, square meters of solar panel, where our last car which drove here uh, had 6 square meters, so that's more than, uh, more than double. Um, and also, so it's very light, uh, we added a radar in the front of the car so it can actually adapt to its surroundings. Uh, so that's a great new feature we have this year. And also, um, our car takes in route data from TomTom Tom, uh, and it anticipates on all of the hills. So when we come across hills, we can drive as efficiently as possible to get ahead of our competitors. The race will make its way past 18 towns in 8 days. Alessandro, DSABC News, Bloemfontein.